But we just beat a group of robot bees using a superhero do and if that's not high-five worthy, I don't know what is. Curtis, now is not the time for high-fives. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again with another video on Arrow Season 7. So Arrow has started filming for its seventh season with them being almost a week into that filming. Since they started, we have seen various social media posts from the actors on the show as they posted about them getting back into Vancouver where they filmed the shows, or in some cases we saw posts from them actually on set for the show. The last person to trot back into Vancouver and, you know, uh, begin filming was Colton Haynes, who of course plays Roy Harper, aka Arsenal, as he landed in there about two or so days ago. Roy is of course a returning character from previous seasons, but seeing he has been gone for a while as a regular, him being back this season as a regular almost feels like him being a new character. But speaking of new characters, that is exactly what we get every new season, and that is the same with Arrow Season 7. So our friends at thathashtagshow.com have once again supplied the goods by revealing two new character descriptions for Season 7, which are pretty interesting. Now, usually when these drop, I am usually able to scour the internet or scour the internet and find audition tapes for the characters. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that this time around, but in the next week or so, they could show up. So we could be going over those in the next week or two if things go as they usually do. But anyway, these two characters have the names of Dover and Leah. Now, as most of you would know, if you have watched my videos in the past on these various character descriptions that we get, these names are usually just used for like cover and the name on the show will be something different. But the first character description we will be going over is that of the character currently known as Dover. Dover is a male in his 30 to 40s who is teased as a physically intimidating player. Even though he may not be the brightest person in the room, anyone who is in his presence will feel incredibly small. He will be recurring this season. In regards to who this character could be from the comics, as he will most likely be a comic book character, as, well, Arrow is a comic book show, I would have to put my money on Blockbuster. Now, not Blockbuster Video, this is a character called Blockbuster. Now, there have been like four or five Blockbusters in the comics, but the Blockbuster that would appear on Arrow and who would be this Dover character from the description would have to be one of the first two incarnations of the character who are actually brothers, who are Mark Desmond and Roland Desmond. All of the various versions of Blockbuster we've had have had, you know, superhuman strength, uh, superhuman stamina and endurance as well as a high degree of resistance to physical as well as energy attacks. Now, with both Mark and Roland Desmond, uh, the thing that makes them highly likely characters to being this Dover character is that in order for them to reach their physical peak and sort of, well, become Blockbuster, they in turn inherited, well, small childlike minds as a repercussion to this. In Mark's case, he was experimenting on himself in order to get like taller and stronger. And with Roland, he became very sick and had experimental steroids used on him. And he got the same result as his brother. So he got really big, really strong, but a bit dumb. Another option as to who this character could end up being is that this Dover is Mammoth from the comics. Mammoth fits the description fairly well, but just in comparison with Blockbuster, he just isn't as strong of a candidate as those, as that character might have say. But do keep it in mind that he could be an option. In regards to what role this Dover will be serving in this season of Arrow, there are probably two options. The first one, and the most likely one in my opinion, is that Dover will be an inmate at Slabside Prison with Oliver. His role, as it is stated in the description, is that of a recurring role. Now, some might think this means, oh, he's there for a decent chunk of the season, you know, we'll see him throughout the season for a couple of times. Which, yeah, that can be the case with some characters. However, recurring on a TV show can just mean that you are in more than one episode. We saw in The Flash last year with the character of Null, she was a recurring character and she was in two episodes. So I think that this Dover character will just be someone that Oliver has a hard time with in prison, you know, has a few run-ins with him. As we do know, do know sorry, that Oliver will be in there with various villains, some of which he had the pleasure of locking up himself or at least having a hand in locking them up. It would be pretty damn interesting to see if uh, Dover will be one of the inmates that could possibly, you know, help Oliver get out of prison if Oliver is to escape. The other option is that Dover is a member of the Longbow Hunters. However, I don't think his description fits that of an assassin. Sure, he could cream someone's head in pretty damn easily, but you need some sort of like strategy and a bit of intelligence to be an assassin in my opinion. So I can't really see this playing out. But now onto the description of the character currently known simply as Leah. Now Leah is a 30 something woman who is a world-class mercenary who was born to be a leader. Don't mess with this one because once you see what Leah has in her toolbox of skills, you'll see why those are known across the world. 
Now, no role was given to this character, so we don't know if she is a regular or recurring or anything like that, which gives off, you know, the suggestion that she will just, you know, be in one episode. That's what sometimes happens with these characters when they're not really given a, you know, proper, you know, uh, role sort of title. But going by the description of the character and how tough she is, you know, being made to look, you would, th you know, you would be thinking that she will be, you know, in at least a few episodes. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one thinking off of that description that this Leah character could be part of the Longbow Hunters, the group that Ricardo Diaz name dropped in the finale for season six, and who will, you know, be showing up in the early stages of season seven, you would think. The Longbow Hunters are essentially all mercenaries, and with her being a world-class mercenary, you would think she would definitely be, you know, a part of the Hunters, if not the leader of the Hunters, and that Team Arrow and anyone else that came across her would definitely, well, you know, be in some trouble, to say the least. Similar to the character of Dover we went over, this Leah could be a part of the inmates in Slab Silo, that's another option. However, I really don't think her description fits that of anyone that would, you know, first get, you know, be caught and placed in a prison. At least a prison where she would probably have to interact with other inmates daily, get into some kerfuffles and probably, you know, well, take them down pretty easily. In regards to who I think she would be from the comics, I did see a lot of people replying to this news that she could possibly be Cheshire. Now we do get that other new character of Konomi Rose in her description, and Cheshire was a popular choice as to who she could have ended up being on the show. But Konomi, or whatever she ends up being called on the show, sounds and looks like she'll be on the good side for the most part this season. Like she might start as like a bit of a bad egg, but you know, she'll slowly come over to the side of good and Team Arrow. While this Leah character just sounds like she's gonna be an antagonist and a bit of a well, a bit of an annoyance for Team Arrow and Oliver to deal with. So I think out of the current characters, we know that we'll be showing up for this season of Arrow. If you're going to pin the Cheshire character on anyone or someone that's new coming to the season, I think that this Leah character would be the one that you would have to go for. Obviously, Lady Shiva is another option, but I really can't be bothered going over that option and possibility again. However, the fact that this Leah character is somewhat known around most of the world sort of does suggest Lady Shiva. Um, but you know, who knows what they're going to do. Cheshire and Lady Shiva, you know, I think there's going to be multiple characters that are going to be pinned with, you know, the possibility of them being either one of those two characters. So you can just keep mentioning them all day long, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with the characters. But thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'll be awesome. If you could drop a like on it to show your support, let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on these characters? What do you think of Dover? Do you think he's going to be blockbuster and where do you think he'll show up in the show? Personally, I think it's prison. I think it's an obvious one. And what do you think of this Leah character? I think she's the more lethal of these two new characters, but do you think she's part of the Longbow Hunters, possibly the leader of the Longbow Hunters, or do you think she's someone else? Just let me know all of that in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, it would be awesome if it's and of course if you are new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could and of course if you are new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.